how to create order status notification for your clients or for your e-commerce store. Hi, this is Andre, founder of Flow Email Marketing Agency, as well as this YouTube channel. And in today's video, I would like to show you the easy way how to create order status and notification for your clients to let them know where their package is on which stage so this way it will reduce requests to your support team asking like hey where's my order as well as a good customer service a lot of company do it the good way uh, one of them is sticker mule they printed out stickers it's stickers like this for a laptop laptop or whatever sticker bumper stickers and so forth so each time i place an order i get notifi sms notification i get email notification where my package is and some of you might think oh my clients does not want to receive so many emails or sms uh, wrong when we spend money as a customers we care to know why because we invested uh, either five dollars or 250 dollars in something and we are excited to receive it so that's why we want to know and in today's video i'll show you how to do it so we'll do it via email if you're familiar with a domino pizza franchise they introduced domino tracker so it's a line which indicates uh, status of your order first let's define some statuses for e-commerce logistics for some companies uh, you will have more statuses for others less but in general i would like to cover four status so the first status is uh, after they place order info receipt okay so this is status number one status number two in transit so your fulfillment center receives this order and they are working on it so the next status is in transit when you fulfill the order by giving to the logistic company fedex ups usps or any other company and it's in transit so we have in transit so it's status number two the next status is out for, for delivery meaning that the package was shipped from the location where your fulfillment center is to the city of the recipient and in that city was placed on another track or to the mailman who will deliver to your door so it will out so status number three and the final status is delivered delivered is also a very important status because if you are not at home or let's say you're not sure like where package was lost but in the system it says delivered you can uh, the customer can contact you and try to resolve the issue and that's so the last one is we have those four statuses so uh info received in transit out for delivery and delivered so let's do right now like put numbers to each status because it would be easier for me to draw so number one number two number three number four okay so this thing is done so we we have those four statuses so it's given so the next thing is we need to create uh, four different emails okay so four emails correct in each email we will have a timeline timeline with four statuses like uh, in for received uh, in transit out for delivery and delivered so I will just do it quickly everywhere by the way this thing uh, the, the line uh, you can present it the way you want it just type in order a status design or a timeline something like that and in google you will have a bunch of different graphic uh, examples but for simplicity i will just do the line with the dots let's say this is email number one so this is a trigger your system should send uh, your logistic system uh, whatever you use after ship uh, or any other system will trigger and communicate with your crm system or email marketing software we in our company we use clavio for this example let's use after ship and clavio both amazing platforms so after ship will send a trigger to clavio saying like hey information was received 
this trigger this will trigger this email email number one and in this email we'll we will say something like hey our fulfillment center received your order information and it will be shipped in the next seven days something like seven days or sooner you can be generic and you can put order order number or number and if available tracking I'm not sure if on this stage uh, tracking is available and very important for visual representation you will uh, make it uh, this line and put status one so on this timeline you will spell out like info receive something like that okay so next when your logistic system like after ship will re receive in transit this trigger this will trigger email number two which says in transit and like representation purposes will put it to uh, so it will show the progress so you can do something like instead of black so let's see something which was completed so make it like that it means the the stage number one was completed already and we move to, to, st to step number two same thing with number three so when it's out for delivery we'll send them this email and when it's delivered we'll send them that email so same thing we will do here status number three and here status number four and as we agreed like that we'll use green one so to see the progress so one two and here it's four three four as you can see there's like timeline progress and it's visually uh visually very helpful for uh, for client to understand okay so they are on a stage number three it means there's only one more stage and i will have the package or i'm on stage only one and there's three more stage for me to receive a package it's very clear to your customers and trust me this kind of communication with, with a client will reduce number of uh customer requests asking like hey where's my package how long should i wait and so forth and also it will improve customer experience and one more important thing this kind of emails those emails should be transactional email not marketing email meaning uh, marketing emails people can unsubscribe from marketing emails but it's uh, almost impossible to unsubscribe it's there's no unsubscribe bot uh, like at the bottom of the email because it's like a receipt so whatever system you use whatever email marketing software you use you need to convert those emails from marketing to transactional typically you need to contact the support and let them know so they will review it and they will do their own things on the back end if you have any additional questions about this video please let me know also if you're new on this channel please click subscribe and hit the bell we are releasing this kind of video every thursday also we release a short tutorial every tuesday about email marketing and other technical tutorials thank you bye